Previously on Dungeons and Dragons. I found myself face to face with this man riding the dragon. I begged for my life and he agreed in exchange for information on other settlements. I want to go now. So you guys find yourselves in the middle of a whole bunch of spiders webs. You're within earshot of the waterfall. And you're surrounded now by three edder caps and seven giant spiders. You are restrained by webbing. Donnie will fly up and try and like chomp on one of them spideys. The target falls unconscious for one hour. Nice. So the eight wolves, wolves come in and swarm these two edder caps and just just churn out edder cap meat. It's just flying everywhere. The spiders see this and flee into the trees and run away. That makes me feel very gross. It's a pretty solid plan on their part. Well, let's keep going. My wolves are coming with us. Uh, no, you come to a large clearing where there is a, a lake at the base of approximately 100 foot waterfall. Well, I can't see in the dark, so I'd prefer not to fight at night. Yeah, so you turn around and you do see Lasko come up behind. M- man and dragon tank wolf Wolves delaying. no common. Yeah, They're but... They're intelligent creatures. I am speaking very good. I'm a wolf. <laughs> yeah. He speaks uh, common, but he just isn't really a good talker. So you guys hunker down and hide away. Your wolves disappear. Yep. Approximately an hour later, you hear a loud flapping of wings and a bellowing roar emit from behind the waterfall and a large green dragon comes out bursting from the waterfall water spraying everywhere with a dark figure on its back and it flies off into the night. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. We are a 5th edition actual play podcast. I'm your dungeon master, Russ Moore, and with me today is Carla Johnson. Hey, it's me. I play Nulara Moonbrook. And Tom Laird. Hey, that's me. I play Flint Firebeard. And Amy Moore. I'm also me, and I play Thea Amastasia. Hey, guys. This episode hey. is split into two episodes. Yay! We love D&D. We just want to keep playing. We played so good. So good. Hey, uh, this week, we're starting a contest, too. That's very exciting. So the contest, you can win a copy of Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes, which is the new book out from Wizards of the Coast, which comes out May 29th, and we've got a copy for you that we're going to draw on that day, and you will have it, obviously not on the day, because we can't be that ahead of the times, but we can, we can be pretty close. How do they enter, Amy? Well, what they have to do is they have to find their favorite episode of ours. And why are you why are you making that face? I thought we were doing the Facebook thing. Well, I thought the Facebook thing was for an extra entry. So they find their favorite because we've we right we've already said this. They find their favorite episode, and they they like they share their favorite episode link mm-hmm. like you know with our whatever thing. And then to get an extra entry, they invite a friend to our Facebook page. Um, and they also they have to answer questions and shit. We th- I didn't make this up, right, guys? I, I don't uh, think we. I, I, don't... I thought it was both, to be honest. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I, I thought, thought it was, it was both things. It's not like okay. a bonus. Like it's it's oh. an either or or both. I remember oh. the bonus that if your friends say that you recommended yes. them to join our page. Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. Bonus is that. This is like unlimited number of entries contest, basically. If you've got if you enough have friends. unlimited number of friends. Yes. But they have to answer the questions. So to, to 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 paraphrase what that was, because I just said that it wasn't what it was. Because it I didn't know what, what, what was going on, so it is what it is. So if you join our Facebook group and you get all your friends to join and they tell answer the questions, they have to answer the questions before we say yes, you can come in. But there will be one that says, Did you get recommended by anybody? And then they put your name in there, that's bonus entries. As well, if you share your favorite episode to your your feeds, your Facebook, your Twitters, your Instagram, which I'm doing pretty good on, so so hope, hope you're liking the Instagram, with the hashtag DumbDragonCast, you'll get an entry there as well. Details up on the website, though. I can get that up in a couple days. Also, bonus Amy Brownie points if you add a favorite quote from that episode. Ooh. That's true. There was talk of brownie points. I remember sure. that. And then I think someone asked, what are the brownie points? What do you redeem those for? And I said, my love. Yeah. Great. That's so about right. We had that talk on May 11th, I think, is when that episode comes out. 
So we're going to find out what we said in the future. Fun. Play the tape back. I Anyone love it. else is mind blown. How podcasts work. Yep. Uh, fuck it. Let's play D&D. You guys are standing at the edge of this lake that you've come upon at the base of this waterfall. And this enormous green dragon with a rider on its back emerged and flew off into the night. Let's scoot. Could you um could you not have cast Hunter's Mark on one of them? Just a question. Just out of character. Um would I, that have done anything? Uh it just would mean that you it only lasts it? for an hour. Uh so never mind. Probably he won't be that's back. Some, that's something you can do like when, in, during, But like, I can do it time. once yes. we're yeah, yeah. once oh, we see sure. them. For sure. That would get me a little bit of a little bit of extra. But good thinking. Because I mostly forget I have spells at all, so good thinking. All right, so we r- we run up there, and I, as we're running, I say, "There's it's a it's about a fifteen foot incline climb to get into the cave." And then it is human a- ladder. Well, Flint has a ladder, ladder, so we could probably just use that. I, I do have a ladder. I mean, we could human ladder as well. From what you saw, it is a steep wet slope getting into the next area that you mm-hmm. saw there. So you guys... Uh, it's an up and then it's a quick down, you yeah. guys. So you Watch guys yourselves. get up um, and if you're just climbing down everybody needs to make a dexterity check or a or an acrobatics check or a, an athletics check. Dexterity, acrobatics, or athletics? Uh, well, acrobatics or athletics. Okay. Uh, Fifteen... 21. Thaddeus with a 15 as well. And a 19 for Flint. Okay. 20 for Flamekins. Okay, and Laska will fuck it up for everybody. Where are my d20s going? Come on, he's um, a... Yeah, he's no, a wolf. He's, he's got a good... He's got a lower center of gravity. Uh, so you, you. you climb and crawl, sliding your way down, and you descend down into... Um, you come to a corner, and looking around the corner, you see it opens up into a large island chamber. There is a a lake of sorts with a with an island in the middle of it, um, and that's all you can really see from just peeking around the corner. So you go further. Um, I I whisper to or no, uh, Donnie can show these pictures to Nulara, right? Yeah, sure. So, gee, I'm just so she knows what's going on. Um, I feel like, is there like a little robo and then there's like a cup mm. and a, something in the middle that someone has to force someone else to drink and it, and it saps their, like their life essence? No, no not that. No, no oh, okay. robots. Okay. No, no. What about any robots? Uh, no Is Dumbledore robots. here at all? No. Huh. What have we been okay. playing this whole game for if Dumbledore's <laughs> 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 Uh, Russ, how big is this underground lake? Um, are you guys going in further, or are you just looking from around the corner? What, how, how far have you gone before I tell you how big the lake is? I feel I mean, like I guess go into the chamber. I mean, sure. there's only one yeah. place to go. Yeah. So are you trying to be stealthy? Yeah. Everybody roll a stealth. <laughs> Thea goes in whistling. <laughs> um, and so does Flamekins. We're actually singing a du- duet. Wow. That sounds right. The I like bold it. choice. What are you guys singing? I've never been in a cave like this before. Tell it, girl. Sh- sorry. <laughs> um, so you guys, yeah, sure. But yeah, you guys walk in and you see the pool in here, the lake in here. Um, the the chamber itself is has forty foot high ceilings, set with all the massive stalactites and smaller stalagmites set across the ground. The pool is about the same, uh, just a little bit smaller than the lake outside, so about a hundred hundred twenty five feet across. And then there is a back wall that it goes to, which is about another uh, one hundred and twenty feet. Um, but you step into the chamber, and you are approached by a group of elf guards. And they stand off to the side there where you couldn't see them, naturally. Um, and they come up to you and say, who, 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 who are you? 
What what are you doing here? I'm going to look at Thea because she's, you know, you know, elves are real snobs. I mean, Thea's cool, but come on. She's got to be the one that talks to them, right? Racially profiling me. (laughs) 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 My God. Okay. Uh, Thea tries to get over that. And, um... (laughs) Come on, if we ran into dwarves, we'd get Flint to talk to them. Because he's before. got his he's got his belt though. He has like something special. I've got nothing Look, we don't but my care wits and boobs. We don't care about his belt. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hi, my name's Thea. These are my friends. I'm trying to um be very charismatic and stuff. And <laughs> what what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be guarding the entrance? We are guarding the entrance. We didn't. We weren't told that more people were coming. What? What's the secret password? Oh, please. Are you Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Bluff check. That's all I want. That's all I want to happen. Roll, roll How many check. guards is there, Russ? Through Nat through twenty. Four. Yeah. So okay, you're right. There was no secret. <laughs> what is but... this clubhouse for children? <laughs> you do not even look like you are standing at the ready. We're always ready. If the boss gets wind of this, you know what he'll do? What's the boss's name? Are you fucking kidding me right now? (laughs) I slap him. I I step forward and I just backhand him. Two of the other ones raise their speeders and they're like, we need to know what... We we need to make sure that you're supposed to be here. Who... Who... Who who does... (laughs) Wait, are you an owl too? I'm an owl too! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> T- tell us who who is who is the boss here <laughs> I feel like we've had a who's the boss thing before oh, he definitely we have uh, yeah so like this like. arc is called who's the boss episode 4 <laughs> excellent yep. um, the boss is Nair and Vain idiot <laughs> <laughs> they they look a little taken aback because it appears that you may have got it right. Nice job. <laughs> um, but they're like, all, all right, why are why are you here? If the boss didn't tell you why we're here, you don't need to know. Yeah. Okay. The other one, the one who's been the most quiet, slaps him in the back of the head, <laughs> and he's like, "Don't get us in trouble." Okay. Fuck. We're just. Okay, you just go. Don't tell him. We just, just don't tell him. Just don't, don't tell him tell what? Him. Do you keep secrets from the boss? Oh god, we don't. We don't want him to. Don't want him to eat us. Okay, okay. You I don't just, want to hear another word from any of you. Yeah. Okay. And and we just walk and they, through. <laughs> they, oh my god. Guys, we didn't have to kill them. <laughs> yeah. I want all my hit points. But. I want all my hit points when I see the dragon. No kidding. (laughs) Two of them get closer to the entrance where you assume they were supposed to be, and two of the other ones uh, you notice go back um, to... uh, So you guys are walking into the room like this. So to the left um, and further to the back wall, there is an open passageway, and two of them go in that way. Is that the only open passageway? Yeah, what are the directions uh, we can go in here? So now that you've been allowed access, um, you see uh, one... So the open passageway to the left, and then there's also another open passageway to the right that you can see. Does Laska pick up any scent of Delane or anything? <gasps> Good question. Keen smell, keen senses. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, sure. How do you want to ask that? Well, quietly. Where is he, boy? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, if we need to go yeah. left or right, if there's a smell coming from one direction, maybe we should go that one. Uh, Laska points, uh, points her nose to the right. Subtly, though. Subtly, like... Like, just kind of, like, starts to walk yeah. in that direction, and we all... Yeah. So you walk down a, a a long, narrow corridor, and you come into a filthy chamber, and you hear grunting and yelling and sounds like, oh, c- 
quit touching me stuff, you stupid son of a bitch. And you hear, like, things being thrown against a wall. And you come around and you see three large Ettons. Pictures. Yeah. What's that? I don't know, um, but they sound like my grandpa. Yeah. That sounds There's... like it was the page uh, after Edder Cap. So. <laughs> <laughs> We're yeah, going through these. Oh, before, before Russ has Edder been Cap. taking us through alphabetically. That's yeah. how we fight oh. our monsters. Oh. Okay. <gasps> oh, new podcast, Tam Tam, the ABCs of D&D. <gasps> That's and you, oh. you have to fight you all the monsters in alphabetically. alphabetically. <gasps> Amy, that's a fun idea. Thanks. These guys. Oh, well, he's got two heads. Yeah. Let me see. So they each have two heads. <gasps> ah. They're big, they're ogre looking creatures, and there are three of them. So there are six heads in the room, and there are six different voices all screaming, I didn't touch your stuff. And you touched it, and I didn't. And, and they hear you come in, and they all just quickly turn and look. Who are you? Well, we didn't touch your stuff. <laughs> I didn't say you touched my stuff. You're in our room. What are you doing in our room? We're looking for the prisoner. Oh, they're all prisoners. What do you want with them? We need to question one of them. The biggest of them comes forward to you, and she is uh, quite intimidating. Um, well, I didn't walk into the room and go, boys. <laughs> I thought about it. She walks up to you, and she kind of stumbles over to you, and you notice she's wearing a a very nice belt, kind of as a sash. Um, but she says, uh, Look, I forget what the question was. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you gotta tell me who you are and what you need with them prisoners, or else I'm gonna call up the boss and get all sorts of crazy up in here. That's a really nice sash. You look great. <laughs> yes. Everyone just kind of turns to look at you, Lara. Like, like and everyone makes like some ooh kind of noise. Yeah, it's like absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Make a. Um, how do you want to? What, what are you trying to? What is, what is your what is your, like what is your object in trying to in saying that? Are you trying to? <laughs> I'm just being nice. No, I'm okay. not just being the subject nice. And be on our good side. Yeah, a little bit, but also I, because you made note of it, I'm wondering if it is like something, if it is like a mark of rank or if it is like something that has been put on them that is controlling them somehow. Oh yeah. You know, like if it's like sure. a magical item or something. Okay. Yeah. Like so some you, fucked up yeah. armor that might turn you into like a zombie. She or looks around. down at her sash. <laughs> Uh, her belt sash, and she says, yeah, that's mine. You keep your dirty, filthy human hands off of it. I took it off of one of you pipsqueaks. Mm. They all look the same to me. I mashed him up and took his sash. He wasn't wearing it right. Well, wow. I mean, gross, but you look great. You look great. And no Make a deception check. <laughs> no need to... Hey, maybe she does look great. <laughs> Rust. I don't know. <laughs> no, just I just showed you the picture. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, I'll uh, do a deception check. No need to oh. get uh, worried uh, over here. I I rolled an eleven, so it's, she doesn't seem that like picked up and keyed into social cues. I'm sure she bought it. She kind of scoffs at you. She's like, "You're making fun of me. What are you saying?" No, we're not making fun of you. We need to question one of the the filthy human captives that you have here. Never heard one of you say they were filthy. I move You've my never hair heard back. an elf say that? I move my hair back and I'm like... Oh, yeah, yeah all right. Go on in there, pointy ear motherfucker. <laughs> Just let you stroll into the prisoner's area? Sure, yeah, whatever. Being sarcastic. Is that genuine? No, I yeah, certainly like, don't. It sounds like she, super sarcastic. She points her hand to an open doorway to the left. And Naren Vane is an elf, so. Yeah. 
and the guards were too. So like, it seems like, is it, is it racist or speciesist of it for me to always think the creatures that seem dumb are like lower cast <laughs> creatures? <laughs> Yeah, they kind you know of seem I mean? just put like, to work. Like, we were told to sit here and stare yeah, at the danger door. <laughs> like, it, it makes me uncomfortable to think that. But, like, yeah, like, there seems like uh, there's a hierarchy you know in this world Racism based on intelligence. Right? Well and alive in this thing world. in D&D that some classes or some races think that they're higher up. So <laughs> playing into that, if, yeah, it's like, like high elves are, like, incredibly racist. So yeah. if we play into that then that's, uh, like, we've got an elf with us. It's a good thing in this case. Um, as you guys, uh, I assume, are just being, just walking down the hallway? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I say, yeah. I mean, thank you, friend. I'll make sure to mention this to the boss. Flamykins kind of waddles up behind. She Uh-oh. looks behind the big one. She's like, hey, hey, he's stealing your shit over there. And she, the big one turns around and she's like, what the fuck are you doing over there? And she takes this huge club that she has and just starts wailing on the other one. Oh my god. And they all start kind of wrestling about and you guys rush out of the room down the hall. But they are currently engaged in battle with each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I can flamicans. I know, it was good. Uh, so you walk down another narrow corridor and come to a door. Can I it's a rickety wooden any door. traps or any sort of... It, it looks like it's been kind of piecemealed together from scraps that have been found in the area. Doesn't mean it can't be booby traps. Sure, go for it. We'll <laughs> investigate. I'm going to investigate the shit out of this. 18. Oh, no, it's just a door. Nice. <laughs> I reach for it. I'm going first now, I guess. <sighs> I reach for it and I open the door. You open the door and inside you see about a dozen elves and one human in varying states of um, beatenness. <laughs> Some look like they, they are being more well-kept than others. Others look like they are being used as a dragon chew toy. Yeesh. Ooh. Is uh, Delane the human? Uh, Delane is the human, yes. Yay! Buried the lead I mean, on that boo, one. boo, it's not good, but yay! Well, yeah, yeah, but we found him! How dare he get captured before we could meet up? Ugh. Rude. Um, yeah. Bosca goes over and is checking on Delane, who seems to be unconscious at the moment. Do these? But they all seem like they're prisoners, yes? You would, to make a fair guess, you would say they're all prisoners. Uh, you see similar um, clothing and insignias or markings to some of the elves that you saw uh, around Alton, and others uh, bear clothing that you haven't seen yet. So the elves, all of them are elves except for Delane, and they all stand up and kind of hold their weapons. Um, they were allowed to keep weapons. Yep, they have they have weapons, um, and they hold them and say, "Who? What? Who?" who what, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, fr- friends, put down your weapons. We're here to help. I make sure the door shut behind me. Not that <laughs> they could. Not that they could probably hear over there. You mother! Bra- <laughs> it's all muffled. No. Um, what, what do you? What do you mean? What do you mean help? Well, do you want to be here? N- n- no, but we don't necessarily want to leave because the dragon will come and find us and kill us. Okay, die now, die later. It's up to you. And I start walking forward to toward Delene. <laughs> um, and they half step forward to you and half step away from you. Like, should we stop her? Like, they, that's the kind of feeling you're getting from them. Are you dead, guards? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys secret guards? Are you? No, um, I mean, we we were brought. Who, you guys work for this monster. What is happening in here? We, we were we were brought brought here. Who who for, first? Who 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 are you? My name is Thea. We're here to save the fucking day, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> and she beats her chest. Oh, I love her. Are you are you from Altend? Um, yeah, yes, some of us are. Yes, others from other settlements that have been 
been attacked. We were just there. You it's were. Not looking. It's, yep. Yep, we sure were. We saw Galen. We saw Gallandon. We ate some beefy, beefy stew. stew. Mm-hmm. Of, of course, beefy stew. How was the stew? Did it did it suffer in, no, no, in quality good. since no. we've been attacked? No? Oh, good. Do I still have any of the breakfast stew to go that I had no, that no. Gallon didn't want? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a couple days. Probably not. <laughs> probably it's probably not. not very good if you do, but... Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Well, that, that Gallon, he's a piece of work, isn't he? How do you how do you mean? Oh, well, I mean, sure, he's the only reason why your settlement's still standing, but he is giving secret information about the protection of other places in the forest and essentially throwing them under the bus. Great kind of guy. Not sure you want to go back there specifically, but no. hopefully the judicial system will get him. Um, can we go to our friend and see if he's all right? Yeah, you, they've let you by. You oh, OK, good. Want. OK, yeah. I keep walking to Delane. I had a feeling yeah. like half of them were still like, mm. no, they, they're they're un, they're still uncertain about you. But they're like, yeah, I mean, we we know that he's the one he's, he's the one who made the deal, but it was to save our people at the expense of others. Whatever, that's not what we're here for. I'm not judging. We've, I've done, you know, sketchy shit. We've all tied people up and thrown them in rivers. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Water uh, under the bridge, am I right? I love it. Um, okay, let's go see Delane, because, like, I feel like he knows stuff, and I want him to be better before we get into any fights thing. How hurt mm. does Delane seem? He seems pretty beat up. I- I'm going to give him my rare healing potion. What if I just hit him with a cure wounds there, Amy? Yeah, That's do that Thaddeus. one. Yeah, Thaddeus can do that kind of thing. So yeah, Thaddeus is going to cast cure wounds. Okay. Yeah, do that. As a second level spell slot, so he'll get an extra D8. Six... Seven's thirteen plus spellcast modifier of two, so fifteen. Uh, so some of the some of the wounds heal up, and he comes back to uh, comes back to consciousness there, and he looks around. And he, fuck, it was his voice. Everybody's a gruff old man in this. Um, <laughs> well, welcome to Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. <laughs> where Russ plays many gruff old men. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll change his voice. What are you people doing? Man, no, no, no. <laughs> Thea cannot be attracted to a man with a voice more effeminate than I was than attacked hers. by a dragon and now I sound like this all oh, the time. Oh, Thea no. just like oh. dry right up. I like the voice though, <laughs> yeah. but I, I definitely would have remembered if that was Delane's voice. No, it was, yeah. it was, it was something just like, whoa, what are you guys doing here? No, I wasn't. He doesn't say what are you guys doing here. Oh, it's good to see you guys here. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> I'm from the woods. Delane. <laughs> I feel his forehead. I'm like, are you feverish? A little bit. Are you <laughs> Got eat, almost eaten by a dragon? Uh, would would is he like well buffed up in his in his health? Like we're about to fight a dragon, so I just yeah. feel like yeah. he should probably be at full capacity here. He reaches into his fanny pack, for lack of a better term, the fanny pack awesome. of holding. Yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. pulls out a. Sp- a potion, and he appears to be ready to go. Cool. Um, and he's like, "What? How did you uh, guy, did you kill the dragon already? How did you guys get this far?" We uh, snuck in here while he took off for his nightly stroll. Good thinking. Good thinking. I get by on my charms. I give him a little wink. Yeah. I... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you He's have been to in the say woods that you did time. that. You can't just you can't just do he it. He winks awkwardly. Mm. <laughs> oh, was it ever awkward? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> With like a grimace and is like hasn't seen. But is Thea like who fans herself? Like yes, please. Um, it's been a while. I don't want to uh, speak for you, Thea, but I think you're into it. So dang hot out today, <laughs> <laughs> boy howdy. Um. Yeah, you feeling better? Because that dragon's going to be back, like, pretty quick. And I think we're probably going to have to, like, try to fight him. Do you know anything? Like, I mean, it seems I've like been... it's Vane. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's probably, yeah, yeah it's definitely Vane. Um, yeah, I haven't seen much of this 
layer here. Maybe one of these. If you talk to these motherfuckers standing around with their swords out, see if we got like a some sort of escape hatch, <laughs> some yeah. sort of press the button and run type of thing, or uh, well. Do we really want to run? We have an opportunity to end this here. We want to yeah. kill the dragon. He's killing people all... like He's just destroying settlements. We want to stop him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, you, you down? And I just look around like, you guys in? Fuck. You want to all maybe right. save your, your whole civilization or your whole... Uh, all your friends? Your Hold family? On. Okay. Other guys here, you're you like work here and shit, and they're like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he took us prisoner, but they let us kind of mill about. Good. So what the fuck are we working with here? And uh, they go on to explain that there are the three Ettons. There are um, among them there. Used, there are the people in the room. There are six other cult members, specifically cult members who have been seen in the lair. Humans? Um, yep. Okay. Um, and then Naren Vane and um, they say Kuth, who is the dragon. So are the other elf guards at the entrance that we saw also kind of like quasi-prisoner guards? Like they've been taken prisoner but are being forced to work there as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we have all been taken captive from various settlements and are told to guard Kuth's lair um, when when he is not here. Um, and when they are done with us, they feed us to him of sorts. Well, that sounds real bad. Sounds not good. We should yep. we should probably like kill this dragon. What do you guys say? Be Fuck, like, I'm doing it! What are you guys yeah. waiting for? <laughs> Try to kill the dragon, or just wait around to get eaten. Those are your options. Doesn't solid choices. Doesn't yep. seem like a hard choice to me. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll we'll be right behind you. Yeah. A lot of faith say. in you. Got a lot yep. of faith in you guys. <laughs> um. Do you know the like the layout of this cavern? Where does Kuth? Sleep. What's the schedule? You guys are like running this this at a low level well, kind of way. So we, fill us in. We we haven't been able to explore the entire. There are some areas that they don't allow us to be. Kuth has his main lair underneath the the um, the pool in the in the main chamber area. If you go beneath the pool and into another area. That is where his chamber is. Off of that um, are Narenvane's chambers, um, and from the front area, the passageway to the left is where the cultists um, is where the cultists are. I say we wait in Narenvane's chambers. Wouldn't it be great to battle him separately from the dragon? Yes. So once he gets up on that dragon, it's going to be a little harder to. Are we going to kill him? Well, I think we... Seems like a pretty bad dude. <laughs> um, but I definitely... He's been missing for a long time, and it seems like... I mean, he's riding the dragon, so he must have... Let's do what we always do. We'll try to take him prisoner, but realistically, we'll probably kill him. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Good, good. <laughs> it's just our MO. Uh, the old, the usual. <laughs> I'll have the usual, uh, please. How do we get into Naren Vane's chamber? How can we do it without the cultists knowing? Uh, well, Naren Vane's chamber is... To, you have to go through the cultists' area to get to his chamber. Do the cultists ever leave their chambers? Are they... Um, uh, when we go, when they Brian Wilson, they just like hang out in there <laughs> constantly. Um, they throughout the night, they're generally in there the whole whole night. They mostly only leave to go out on raids. What about the three Edens? Are they loyal to the dragon, or are they just doing their own thing and they're also prisoners? <gasps> oh, Flamykins could probably help with this. Um, Flamykins, don't you have a spell that could? potentially change 
the way some of us look to help get us past. Oh, fuck, guys. I got a disguise spell, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah she one I cast, asked? She, it, it she cast a spell on us before. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We seeming. Can, yeah. yeah, we got seeming. We can, I mean, we can make us look like bushes. Um, Does that work? Uh, not Good start. quite <laughs> what I was thinking. Um, uh, to go back to your other question, the Ettons are here to help protect Kuth's horde. Um, they, as you may have seen from the ruckus still coming from out there, they, um, they hate each other, um, but will fight to protect Kuth and what Kuth has here. What does Kuth have here that's so important? His, his hoard, his, his treasure, his, um, what, so whatever, whatever dragons love to... General dragon horde, there's not anything, like, in particular that anyone knows about? Uh, not, not that we are aware of, no. Uh, okay, well, it seems like what we'll need to do is cause some kind of distraction to get the cultists out of their chambers, and then, like... Scoot in there. Yeah, just scoot on in. Or we could all look like cultists. But can we do that, or can we only look like bushes? No, we can look like anything. Oh, okay. Do you guys still have cult clothes? No. That was like four years ago. I mean, you, okay. <laughs> just been carrying just checking. Just checking. This spell allows... Well, I mean, Thea has a pretty awesome bag of holding that holds a lot of stuff, so it could just have That's cult true. clothes in there. We could have kept that stuff it in there. could have. God it seems actually a pretty cool reasonable. Spell where we all look like different people. God, um, I think I that it's up to you. This, I could potentially have a bag of holding that has a bunch of extra different clothes in it. It doesn't say if I do or don't. Sure would hate for anything to happen to that bag of holding. I know, right? <laughs> I know. It seems like this that bag like of holding is really just holding thing everything together. Ever. How would you like to help us defeat the dragon? <laughs> the easiest way possible. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good, right? Pretty like easy. Sounds almost too good to be true. <laughs> almost too good to be true. What What would you have us have us do? We would like to get into Naren Vane's chamber. Our group and any of you that are willing to come help fight, but we need to get the cultists out of their chambers so we can get in there. So we need you and the other elf guards to create a distraction, to start a, a fire or something to raise the alarm so that the cultists will leave their chambers and we can slip in. Or a big brawl of that? some kind. Oh, or a big... See, but I think... Yeah, that's good. Yep, yep, yep. You know, yep. like descent among the ranks. Uh, make a persuasion check, please. Uh, Fourteen. So the elf, main elf you've been talking to says, oh, okay, um, so we will, we will make a distraction, but we, we don't want to fight the dragon. We don't feel we would be helpful in that instance. That's um, understandable. We will do our best to draw the cultists out so you can get in there. But I don't. I uh, we. I can't. I can't fight with you. Fair enough. Yep. Sounds good. So they, uh, a couple of, or a few of them, um, pick up their weapons and straighten their clothes, and they open the door and walk out. And you hear the Ettons hollering and sh still wailing on each other, and it sounds like it's kind of dying down a little bit. And they, you hear mumbling from the elves as they. Kind of are just like, okay, yeah, we're just gonna go uh, swap swap stations, and the Atens don't even uh, uh, don't even look at them really, um, and they go out into the main chamber. Where are you guys waiting? Are you waiting in that prisoner chamber, Nune, or are you kind of following behind them a little bit? I think we have to kind of follow them because we need to be like we need to find a place to like. Yeah, we need to be right there. Like away, a, so right. that when they all run out, we can, like, run sure. in, mm -hmm. basically, right? Yeah, so that you follow them to uh, the entrance to where the main area is, and they tell you to wait there. Um, and they go over to where the other elves were guarding the front door, and you hear some low murmuring, and then you hear hollering from them saying, 
They're they're over here. They're trying to break in. They're over here. And you hear the footsteps of cultists coming down the hallway and they run out towards them and they're like they they just ran back out the waterfall. We need to go stop them. They stole stuff from Kuth. And everybody in that group goes up uh, the slope and you hear them go out past the waterfall. Hey there, I'm your Dungeon Master, Russ Moore. Thank you for joining us for episode 37 of Dungeons & Dragons titled Knock Knock Anyone Home? Part 2. First off, it's my lovely wife Amy's birthday tomorrow as this is released, so if you can, drop her a note on the Facebook page or group or Twitter and say happy birthday. On Twitter, she's at A More Is More, and she's on there a lot lately, so I'm sure she'd love to see a little note on this fine birthday week she's having. So, our contest launch off the top might have been a bit confusing, and I apologize because I forgot what we were doing. It's my fault entirely. But here are the details, as clear and concise as I can be. First, the main way to enter to win your very own copy of Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes is to go onto your social medias, be it Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and share a link to your favorite episode of Dungeons & Dragons with the hashtag DumbDragonCast. That way I can find it. I mean, it's easy enough, right? Amy's bonus brownie points if you attach a funny or impactful quote that goes along with it. Second way to enter, be signed up for our Facebook group, link is in the description. If you're already a member, you're entered. Easy as that. You must answer the questions to gain access when you sign up for it, though we won't let you in otherwise and you can't get entered if you don't fill out. That's just three simple questions. Once you are in, if you want bonus entries, tell your friends to join and listen to us and make sure they answer the questions. It's very important because there they're going to put in your name. So if you have one friend, it's one bonus entry. Two, two bonus entries. One hundred. First off, congratulations. Second, it's one hundred bonus entries. The possibilities are endless in this one. Details in the description and on our website, dumbdragons.com slash contests. Another way you can support us is by joining our Patreon community at patreon.com slash dumbdragoncast. There you can sign up and get in on some amazing perks. And we are like 70% of the way to our second goal. And when we hit that, there will be a Patreon exclusive giveaway. And we've just added a new tier. So if you've been there already and weren't sure, maybe check it out again because something might speak to you more this time. Some rewards for patrons of Dungeons & Dragons include the amazingly fun Patreon bonus episodes, which will be starting a new story in the next couple months using the fake course system. So there will soon be a bingeable contained story, DM'd by Tom, plus all the new monthly episodes that will continue to roll out. And for patrons $5 and up, you can get in on the monthly Goog Hangs, where you can hang out with us and chat about the show and the game and anything else that you can think of. Supporting us on Patreon makes the show better with each episode and allows us to do new, awesome, and cool things for you. Really hope you have a chance to check it out. Patreon.com slash DumbDragonCast. All of our social media links can be found at DumbDragons.com, including the link to the Facebook group where you can join, answer the questions, and be entered to win your very own copy of Mordenkainen's Tome of Falls on the day it comes out. So go check out the website and join, follow, or like where you can today. Again, links for everything mentioned today will be found in the description. The next episode will be out next week, and we are back on regular schedule for April 25th. And who oh boy, is it going to be a big one. Let's go see how sneaky the group can be as they make their way further into Kuth's Lair. Super sneaky. That's always the answer. Have a great week. Get your entries in, and we'll talk to you soon. Let's, let's scoot. Yeah. Sneak in past yep. into the chamber of the... So you go down that uh, another narrow corridor, which goes off to the left, and it looks like a kind of a common room. There are long tables, split logs, where it looks like they use to, to eat, and there's a burnt-out cooking fire. Um, and then to the right, um, there is, it looks like they're, they're sleeping quarters. There's rough bunks and bed rolls and backpacks in this area. We walk on through. To the right, there is an open passageway. You go into the room and off to the right, and it oh, and it goes back uh, down a long, narrow hall, which there is a right turn, and then you can go a little bit further, and it ends in a dead end, but there's a left turn. So they told you that you had to go off to the right, uh, where Nairn Vane's chambers are, and you go down another long corridor, and you enter into 
um, what looks to be created as a lush living space in this rough-walled cavern. There are select art and craft works um, that look to be art elven nature. Um, uh, there are rich carpets and tapestries that cover the floors and the walls. And there's a large feature, a hewn log bed, and a large mirror and trunk in this room. I look around for any good stuff. Well, you know, like, uh, we've got just a little bit of time. Just kind of, I, I should... peek inside the trunk. Uh, you peek inside the trunk? Yeah. Just kind of like, you know, moving around. Okay. What if it? What if it's a trap, Thea? Yeah. Okay. No, you, you, <laughs> Take you, my you, finger you, off. You, oh, you no, it. you no, lift it. it's totally fine. Uh, uh, so, uh, you <laughs> go to she lift... She can't help herself. She's a snoop. You go yeah, to no. lift uh, the... Uh, you go to lift the trunk, and acid splashes from it. Oh my God! But she had her shield out, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-uh. um, and you take uh, everybody within twenty feet oh, of Jesus, it, I'm which so is sorry, everybody. Guys. Oh my God! I'm so takes five d eight acid <gasps> damage. Oh my God! I am the Fuck, worst. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage. I'm so sorry. Nah, it's fine. Uh, so that is 20 acid, acid splash. damage to everybody. Holy shit. Um, and as that happens... Everyone uh, shoots the uh, super dirty look. shoots the... Uh, a dirty look. A dirty look. She just shoots, shoots the, the uh, dirty look. <laughs> So everybody is um, reeling from this damage that you have taken, um, and I mean, inside the trunk. Uh, for... Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to use my. <laughs> I'm going to use a lucky. <laughs> I'm just There's kidding. There's no attack against it. It just happens. Um, yeah, it's not like you rolled anything, so no. adding extra dice to it's not going to solve any problem. You weren't looking for anything, uh... so. Is there something good things. in the trunk, at least? Oh, no, Did it's just Did we find some empty. rad shit? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's empty? No, it's not empty. <laughs> um, in the trunk, um, you... Oh, sorry, you all are, are poisoned. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you're not, but everybody else is. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, in there, there's... It uh, looks to be... There's a whole... There's more art and more gold, and... It, I mean, it, looking at it, it looks to be a total worth of about 1,500 gold pieces. Um, oh, I take all that gold I put into my bag. Much of it you recognize as potential property of the elves in the forest. Put into my bag of holding. Okay. To give back to them when we're done. Naturally. But I didn't get 20 damage acid all over my beautiful face. For so nothing. you guys are looking around maybe going to make some investigation checks? Maybe I'd like one. to open the chest. Would you oh, want wait, to no, see a cautionary tale? Uh, can anybody magical um, detect magic anywhere? See if there's any like I don't know. Is this a magic mirror? What do we What are we working with here? I can't detect magic, I and can. I can't remember. Okay, I, I wasn't. I couldn't remember if you could. Yeah, sure. I can detect magic. I cast detect magic. Sure, yeah. You uh, you sense that there may have been some sort of uh, glyph of warding casted on the, um, on the yeah. trunk. Yeah, helpful. Cast on the trunk, um, but otherwise there are um, no other magical items in this room. Where the fuck uh, was that idea? Like thirty seconds ago. <laughs> Russ, yeah. I would like to um, go back outside of the room with Thaddeus and like back to where the junction is to okay. come to uh, Naren Payne's room. Yeah, get and back down a little room. bit. Yeah, a little bit down that path. I'd like to cast the alarm spell okay. and make Good it a one. mental alarm, so that way, if anybody walks through that area, yeah. I find out about it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Very yeah, you do that. Um, every, yeah, everybody, make an investigation check while you're looking around this room. Thea's not sure she wants to look around the room anymore. <laughs> Remember when we all wanted to have all our hit points? Totally. So sorry. 16. <laughs> so real bad. Uh, 14 for Flint. Uh, I rolled a 4. I rolled a 4, so I see nothing. Thea, you're looking around and you find what looks to be 
um, behind um, one of the larger art pieces in the back of the room, um, a secret passageway that opens into another candle-lit chamber. Hey guys, there's a secret passageway back here. Are we going to get more acid splashed on us? <laughs> You're Only one way to find out. Doesn't show any other. Flint after you. <laughs> um. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can tiptoe in there if you want. So you guys go into this other room. It's smaller than the last one. It's about uh, thirty feet um, by about fifteen feet. And inside, you see a small shrine to Fenmeril Mesterine, who Thea, you know as the elven god of outcasts, scapegoats, and solitude, which resembles a pair of white eyes peering out from the dark wall above a small basin. You look around this room some more, and you see a journal um, present in this room at a small desk off to the side. Dear Diary, I ran away from my family today and started my own thing in the forest. Dear Diary, if you're reading this, acid in your face. <laughs> Everybody takes that. <laughs> uh, who, who, who is anybody picking up the diary or journal? And... Uh, see, it's not too sure she wants to touch it. She's is she gunch. still detectorating magic? Yeah, there's no magic. There is no magic coming off of it. Well, you can probably read Elvish, so... <sighs> I pick up the book and I open it. Ooh! Um, you skim through the book and make a make an investigation. Just give me an investigation check to see 18. how fast you're reading through. So you pick out quite a lot from this book. Um, and it reveals, in fact, that Naren Vane is, in fact, King Melendric's lost son who um, Naren Vane frequently throughout his writings refers to as my poor father. The journal also reveals in some of the later writings that the green dragon mask is already at the Well of Dragons under Severin's protection and ready to be assembled into the mask of the Dragon Queen. And as you guys are reading this, you hear from the front screams echoing down the halls from some of the elves. They're faint because you guys are further in, um, but you hear the loud roar of Kuth entering back into his lair. Hey, podcast listeners, do you like comedy? Well, how do you like the highbrow and tasteful comedy that ensues after an oiled-up, overly muscular fantasy hero stabs mythological creatures square in the testicles by accident? Ah, my square testicles! If you do, then you'll love The Legion of Renov. The Legion of Renov is a comedic romp into the world of 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, available now at legionrenov.com and on iTunes. 